After the loss of my hardcore Iron Man status, a new adventure is born. Carrying on from where I left off, without the fear of death looming overhead, there's no holding back. This is Dead Smithy, and welcome to my Iron Man progression series. Right, and we're starting off the episode with a massive level coming in. 78 Herb Law means that we now don't need to use a botanical pie to get the uh, the plus Xerix and plus uh, Rev pots when we're at Chambers of Xerix. Uh, next big goal, I guess, with Herb Law will be 90 when it comes to Chambers, which is making the improved overloads. But uh, yeah, 78 Herb Law, that is massive. And uh, we can also, what else we got? Divine Magic Potions. Fair enough. But... That takes us to a total level of 1931, and it's a, a nice way to start the episode. Right, a couple more bars, and there is 74 smithing coming in. Uh, we've actually got quite a lot of adamant bars from Demonics, uh, and now we can make adamant short swords, uh, adamant dark tips, adamant nails, and crystal bodies. Um, but the reason for it is, if we get to uh, 80... Um, smithing it means we can start making god sword blades so if we do start getting those from god wars dungeons we can actually do something with them uh, like i was saying we've got a lot of adamant bars from demonic gorillas uh, we're probably going to get quite a lot more but uh, i just thought i'd make some uh, some more adamant bolts and make them into ruby tipped ones and then enchant them not that i've got enough rubies at the moment but it's good to have them stocked up uh, for things like raids but uh yeah 74 smithing very nice indeed so i've just gone to the ge to uh, decant some uh, some pots and Jesus, that is trippy as fuck. <laughs> Just four, four, four people dancing around in a in a in some sort of weird square, wearing exactly the same thing, and have also all got the same lolly name. <laughs> what? <laughs> right. If you remember this place from leagues, um, this is the uh, the tree spirits, uh, which everyone was using to get themselves a rune axe. Uh, it's funny because their uh, drop rates on snapdragons is uh, one in twenty one, and uh, their Brunalweed is 1 in 99, and they also drop the seeds from as well. Right now, where we are quite low, and I've got kind of a limited number of seeds, I'm going to try and get ourselves some uh, some herbs from these. Uh, there's some toad flax, which uh, that's for um, brews. So, uh, yeah, we're going to spend some time here. It's a shame I haven't got a herb sack uh, so I can stock up, but it's only a fairy ring to get here, so it's not too much, uh, too much effort. Uh, probably won't use my trident for the whole time because I kind of want to save save that for things like Zolra. But uh, yeah, we're going to spend a little bit of time here and see if we can stock up. All right, so I know it's not a groundbreaking amount, but we've killed 28 and uh, we've got one Snapdragon and one Renarweed. I know, not that many, but what is funny is it took me a couple of hundred to get a Rune Axe on leads and I've got three in, in 28, uh, which is pretty mental. But um, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to waste my time here. They're not really coming that thick and fast, the old uh, Snapdragons and Renar Weeds. So uh, we're going to bin it off and uh, go and do something else. Um, but anyway, just thought I'd check in to let you know. Don't waste your time. Okay, so if I speak to this guy here, Captain Cleave, um, and I say, can I use my Slayer Helm? Okay, uh, I skipped through it by accident, but <laughs> it now means that um, when we do shamans, we can wear the imbued Slayer Helm instead of the uh, the Shazian helmet, which is going to help massively with the uh, with the Slayer Helm boost that you get when you're doing Slayer tasks. So uh, yeah, that was from doing the Kebos. Yeah, the uh, Karendin Kebos uh, hard diary, which we did what like six episodes ago. Um, but yeah, let's go kill some shamans. Okay, so I've already done a couple today, but uh, just, just quickly do a check-in. Do you know how many Lisbon I've killed? Ba 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 ba. Uh, Eight hundred and thirty-two shamans. So uh, we're not dry yet, but uh, we're getting near to a thousand. Right, so we managed to get ourselves a hard clue from the uh, from the shamans. We've still got forty-one that we need to kill on task. We're just shy of a thousand. It's like nine hundred and sixteen or something like that that we've killed. But uh, yeah, let's open up the casket and see if we can get anything. Oh, what the? Rune rune Defender Ornament Kit. Fair enough. Not that we use a Rune Defender, but that's really cool. Uh, I'm going to go and put that on my Rune uh, Defender because I've got it in the bank still. So let's go and see what it looks like. Right, okay. Let's take out the Rune Defender. Let's use it on it. Oh, oh, it's gold. Oh, ain't that fancy. Very nice. Right, and there is that Lizardman Shaman task completed. 
Um, we got ourselves, wait for it, wait for it, six scam hammers. Hey, six rune war hammers, no red ones. Um, we got ourselves, I, I think you saw the, well, you did see the hard clue where we got the uh, ornament kit. Uh, what else do we get? It's nice getting some fangs as well because we're going to need those for mounting the Xerix talisman at some point in the house. Um, just some decent alka balls, 430k in cash. Not bad, not bad. We did get a long bone, but it's not the curved bone, which is a uh, 5,013 or one in 5,013, which is just over the uh, Warhammer rate. <clears throat> the long bone's one in like 400, I think. So uh, not too pissed off with that. But uh, overall, not a bad task. We used quite a lot of resources, but we did get a couple of Renar seeds, so we can uh, can uh, cash those in for some more for more herbs if they don't die. I hope they don't because I could do with the herbs. But uh, yeah, let's go and see what our next task is. Um, also, let me know in the comments what you think about these kind of Slayer themed episodes. Be interesting to hear what you guys think. Also, I guess before we go back to uh, any sort of bank or anything, how many Elizabeths have we killed? Nine hundred and fifty eight. Uh, shamans. I just realised I'm an idiot and I left my uh, my recording self uh, set up looking like this. Right, there we go. Balance restored. <laughs> okay, so next task, we've got 151 basilisks. They actually drop uh, Renal weeds at a rate of 1 in 4... Uh, 42.6 and uh, they are safe spotable as well, which is rather nice. Um, yeah. I guess that's our next task. I might do a little bit of demonics just before we go back or go to do the task uh, because we still need that Zenite. Um, when you are watching this, I'm actually away on holiday, um, but I'm back just as this as this video goes up. Uh, so it's a little bit of a uh, reduced gaming week for me this week uh, because I won't be at a computer to to play some Rooney. Um, so I'm trying to... Uh, get enough enough footage for a video uh, for you guys to enjoy it on the usual Sunday post. Um, but yeah, let's go do some gaming. Right, there we go. There is that task done uh, to go through what we got. We actually got quite a lot of Renar weeds, which we'd love to see. You've got nine Renar weeds, also stocked up on some nature runes as well, uh, which we were running low on. But uh, yeah, very nice indeed. Basilisk. I thought these were Kuras, I'm not going to lie. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so I got all geared up for Kurash, got here, and we're like, oh shit, these are basilisks, aren't they? <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's go see what our next task is. All right, I missed the task coming in, but we got uh, 21 fossil island wyverns. So uh, eh, a few alks from these. Bones are decent. I've got the old bone crusher going. Brrr, so, you know, it's, it's, it's burying those bones for me, but not a bad task. Hopefully we can get a black demon task so we can get back to the old uh, demonics and get ourselves a xenite this week because that would be pretty bloody lit, wouldn't it? Right, there's that task done. And we got uh, we got two unidentified fossils. Yeah, very nice, isn't it? Very nice indeed. Um, I think we've got quite a lot of fossils now. Uh, if this spider decides to leave me alone. Uh, fossil storage. Let's whack them in. Oh, you can... Bugger off. Right, as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted, uh, we've got quite a few uh, unidentified fossils now. Uh, I th think we take them to the uh, Varrop Museum. So let's go and do that and see if we can get any other pieces uh, to then put in the basement of the museum. Right, if we clean... Uh, yep, identify me fossils, mate. Oh, we got a pelvis. Oi, oi. We got ourselves a spine. Oi, oi. We got ourselves limbs. Oi, oi. A skull. Oi, oi. Gonna do the other ones? No, okay, I've got to click again. Yep, all right. Another spine, but a slightly different one. Oh, we got ribs. Thought that was a jaw then. And, drum roll, a branch. Nice. Right, so now, if we go down here, where's the big boys? And they're over there, right. Add medium fossil. Anything else? No? I kind of clutching at straws here. I don't I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh. Go on. No. Okay. This one. I haven't got any limbs. Oh, plant display. Could that be the branch? No. Okay, cool. Sick. I haven't got any limbs. What am I meant to do with these ones? Who knows? <laughs> oh, I don't think I've got the uh the other bits that I need yet. So uh it looks like we're gonna store these in the uh in the chest for now. Yep, we haven't got anything else that we can put in yet, so we're just gonna dump them all in here for now. Right, there we go. They're just gonna chill here for a bit. You know what? 
I like that because that means herbs inbound and we like herbs. Haven't got a herb sack yet though. So uh <sighs> one day, one day we'll be efficient. Right, quick herb check on the old uh, Aberrant Spectre's task. Uh, it's been very kind on the Renals. We've got 11 so far. We've also got a Snapdragon Seed. Mystic Road Bottom, very nice, very nice. We've still got 44 left, but I'm going to go and do a cheeky raid. So uh, we're putting that on pause. Let's go and get a tea, by the way. Right, what do we get? What do we get? Ooh, dragon arrows. We'll take those. And some blood runes. Gaming. Right, and that cox there was number 50. Yay! I don't know if that means we're now ranked. Uh, let's have a little look-see. Dead smithy. Boom. And... I don't... Are we ranked? I don't know. Where's Where's the little... Oh, no. No. Doesn't mean we're ranked yet. I don't know how many we need to get to be ranked, but uh, 50 is not the magic number. Right, if I hot weld, if I do... Oh, oh no. If I do... Weld switch, go to that one. And I hop back. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Hop two. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm now ranked. Woo! 119,000th and 105th. Yes! We are officially gamers. <laughs> Open it up. Fucking Tebow. Oh, Torn Pro Scroll. I baited you there, didn't I? Fucking baited you. <laughs> All right, so while we're back at the old uh, Spectres, uh, just a little note to put in here. Uh, next week, Dead Man mode starts, so it means that we'll be back on, if you remember, last Dead Man, we were doing the daily uploads or every other day uploads for the Dead Man progression series. Uh, so that will be starting next week, which means the Dead Smithy series will take a bit of a pause because I used the same account for uh, Dead Man mode. So keep an eye out for that. If you are going to be taking part in Dead Man mode, let me know down in the comments. Uh, we're going to be assembling a crew over on the Discord, so if you're not in that yet, go and join the Discord. Uh, and also join the clan chat as well. We will be uh, arranging, I guess, the troops <laughs> to not get absolutely lamped during Dead Man mode. But um, yeah, really looking forward to that. Uh, it's a nice little side series that we do on the channel. If you haven't seen what I did last time, there is a full playlist on the channel that you can go and check out. That was my first ever Dead Man mode that I took part in as well. So if you want to see my new boss get absolutely spanked, go and check it out. Go and check it out. But uh, yeah, just to let you know, just the same as how we do with leagues as well, where we do the progression series with leagues. Um, we will be doing that on this account just as a heads up. Uh, so it will, we'll take a little bit of a pause on this on, on, on the actual progression of the account for a little while. Not too long, not too long. But uh, yeah, dead man mode, baby. Always back, always back. Right, and with that spectre, that is the last one of the task. 38 tasks completed now. One more and then we... Uh, can then do a Konar to boost our points, but 62 points, I did use some to skip some tasks to try and get some more Black Demons, but uh, nothing, no luck there, no luck there, but uh, we did 38 today, and we got ourselves four more Renar Weeds, which is rather nice, uh, and that's one of the reasons why we're doing tasks like these, just to stock up on supplies, but uh, yeah. yeah, let's go back to uh, Duradel and see what he's got for us next, eh? Right, we got ourselves a Drake's task, uh, I wonder if we can get its, um, we got the, was it the Claw we got last time? We need a tooth. I can't remember what a tooth for. We haven't got one yet. So, uh, actually, is it in collection log? Drakes, Drakes, Drakes. I don't know where the one dance. Um, where are we? Slayer. Uh, yeah, we've got the claw before. That's how we got the brimstone boots. Uh, but we haven't got the claw. or the tooth, sorry. Um, so it'd be nice to get that. You know, it's only 81. It's not set in the world of light. Also, if you haven't seen my Drake guide, go and check that out. Uh, one of the uh, RuneScape Vidummies videos that uh, people seem to enjoy. People seem to find it useful. So if you are looking to do some Drakes and you haven't got a clue, give it a watch. Right, bloody typical. We got ourselves another Drake's claw. I guess we can have a spare pair of brimstone boots, right? Right, I'm saving bank space and buying another pair of boots of stone. Use that on that. Wham, bam, there we go. Very nice. 
means you don't have to clutter up the bank. We've just got another pair of boots, you know, another one for the shoe collection. All right, so we completed that Drake's task, and uh, that was our 39th task, which means we're now on a multiple of 10, so we're going to get an assignment from Konar because we get more points for that. So we've got to do 145 Blood Veld in the Slayer Tower. Not bad. Right, there we go. There is 90 defense coming in. Very nice indeed. That now means we're now base uh, 90 combat bar prayer. Uh, which is really nice, you know, we got a 90 attack last episode and 97 uh, hit points last episode, so it's nice to bring defense up to bring, bring it up to the party, you know. I'm going to switch over to Lash now, and uh, I think we're just going to Lash to uh, 99 strength. Obviously not this episode, uh, but uh, yeah, going to go back to the old shared XP because these two are now, well, they are essentially on the same XP, so they should level up in parallel, which is rather nice. But uh, yeah, currently on a Blood Bells task, we've got one Brimstone Key so far, um, and we've got 77 to go. Right, come on, can we get an Imbued Heart? No, we can't, but we can get a Rune Med Helm, which, you know, it's 11, 11k, is it? Something like that? 11k? Look at that, just over 11k. Uh, but that is the last Blood Veld of the task. Uh, we've got 90 points for that task, which is really nice. The Joys of Konar. But uh, yeah, we're going to go back to Duradel, see if we can get ourselves a Black Demon task so we can go and kill some more Demonics. Uh, we also got two Brimstone Keys, so let's go crack those open. Right, let's crack open these chests, shall we? Uh, right, number one. Ooh, okay. What was that? 111 Dragon uh, Arrow Tips and... <laughs> 76 Dragon Dart Tips. Yeah, not bad. Shame we ain't got the Fletcher level yet. Right, come on. Black Demon Task, Black Demon Task, Black Demon Task. Oh, not more Drakes. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go and uh, we're gonna go and kill some black demons off task. Uh, sod the old uh, Slayer Helm boost. I might uh, how many uh, how many points we oh, no wrong shot uh, rewards. How many points we got? You know what? We're gonna cancel two. Okay, we're gonna cancel two. Confirm. Fuck that. <laughs> no, fuck metal dragons. We're not doing that. Basilisk. I mean, that's a quick one, but I'm not going to go and do that now. We need to go and get ourselves a Zenite. That is number uno on the list of things to do. So we're going to go and put some time into Black Demons. Wish me luck. Right, so before we get cracking, we have 696 on the cards, on the board. That's the current score. Please, Demonics, be nice, right? You've trolled us already. If you're new around here and you don't know what we've got so far, we have... Where are they? Clouds experiments, three light frames, and one ballista spring. We want one of them. That's it. This stuff couldn't give, couldn't care less at the moment. The little orange thing. That's what we want. Let's go get it. Right, and I think that's going to do it for today's trip. Uh, a bit of a shorter one because it's quite late now. Uh, we killed thirty-one, and also tried a couple of tortured to see if we could, uh, you know, snag ourselves some uh, some luck on those. But unfortunately, we didn't get a zenite. But uh, we got some decent loot. We'll be back here tomorrow. We got 31 killed of the uh, Demonics, which takes us just over um, the 700 mark. I think we're 720 now, something like that. So uh, we'll be back again tomorrow and see if we can get some RNG. All right, two more. One more. And there we go. There is 94 cooking coming in. Five more levels to go until the Magic 99. Uh, nothing new from that. We're just cooking up some food for Slay, you know. I'll tell you what, Crambon's a really good XP. Um, and we're also catching quite a few at a time. So we get quite a few cooking XP. And also where we're getting a lot of grapes and uh, things like that from Zora. It's a lot of uh, banked XP, which we love to see. Like I said last episode, placing your bets on uh, what's going to be the next 99. You never know. Cooking could creep up on old hit points, even though that's 97. You never know. You never know. Right, okay, from doing all that fishing, we got ourselves a beginner, easy, medium, and also a hard casket. So let's crack them open, start with the uh, beginner, and work our way up. Uh, absolutely nothing. Come on, easy. Absolutely nothing. Come on, medium. Absolutely nothing. Come on, hard. Absolutely nothing. It's nice to see the clue scroll luck hasn't changed, and we still get... Sod all. Right, uh, so I've done a massive Alk sesh from uh, from all the uh, Slayer that we've been doing, and we're up to a new total GP level of just under 8 million. Well, hey, is it 10 million that you get the green number? I don't think it is, right? 
Is it? Maybe. I don't know. I've never been up that that we've never been this rich before. Invest in Smithy coin because the stonks are going up, lads. The stonks are going up. Right, there we go. There is another unique. The Ballista Limbs is still not a bloody Zenite, but we can actually start putting together the uh, the Ballista now. So we can uh, put the... I think we put those on the actual light frame, I think. I need to check the wiki on that one. But uh, no, that's massive. That's really cool. It's nice to get a unique, but uh, it's still not the one we're looking for. Right, let's get this Ballista somewhat built, shall we? Uh, right, we've got a light frame. I think if we use the limbs on that, there we go. There's an incomplete light ballista. And I think we can use the spring on it now as well. There we go. We've got an unstrung light ballista. We just need the monkey tail now. And uh, then I think it's good to go. How much is that worth, actually? 72k. Not bad. That's going to chill there until we get the monkey spring. Uh, it'd be nice to build, you know, the light, fr light ballista and the heavy ballista. But obviously, priority number one is that lovely Zenite. And also, just to check in on the old KC... Collection law, where are we? Other experiments. 737. And we've got three light frames, uh, a set of limbs, and also a spring. Eh, not bad. And also, out of curiosity, the uh, limbs are 1 in 500 as well. So the limbs, ballista, and also... Uh, well, limbs and the spring are 1 in 500, and the light frame is 1 in 750. Heavy frame is 1 in 1,500, same as the monkey tail and the xenite. Would you believe it is the lowest rarity of mole of 1 in 300? And guess what we don't have? The bloody easy one. <laughs> okay, right, and that is going to do it for this week's episode. So to quickly go through our stats, we are up one level in defense, up to level 90. We're also up, what else we got? Uh, we've got four levels this week, pretty mental. Uh, one level in Herblore, up to 78. Um, ba 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 We've got one level in cooking up to 94. And what is the other one? We've got one more. Smithing up to 74. Um, yeah, because we, uh, we did some smithing early on this week. But uh, yeah, that is going to wrap for this episode. Uh, we finished on... Let's go to collection log. And where are the experiments? There we go. 762 KC at the Demonic Gorillas. Still, no Zenite, but we've got, we managed to get ourselves some limbs this week, uh, which is a bit of a kick in the balls. But I think the big thing is um, we're getting really, really close to our next 99. Cooking is a really easy skill for us to level up. We're now 94 in that. I mean, woodcutting, we are 93. It's a bit of a slow burner. Magic and range are real quick ones. We've now got base 90 combat bar um, prayer with 96 strength that's closing in and 97 hit points. Um, put you put your put your bets in the comments, all right, of what you think is going to be the next ninety nine. My money's on probably hit points or cooking, um, because we you know where we're doing a lot of PVM recently. We are burning through food, so I'm having to you know cook up some dinner every now and then, quite often. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I know this one's a bit been a bit more of a Slayer oriented episode, so let me know what you think about that in the comments. Also. Drop in the comments. We're going to go with the old Classico. Smithy is an egg. I want to see that in the comments if you made it this far. If you are new around here, subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all this week. Okay, starting this week, I think it's Wednesday coming, uh, which is the 25th, Deadman Mode starts. And what we're going to be doing for Deadman Mode is the same as last Deadman, is doing a daily stroke by daily um, progression videos. So this series is going to take a little bit of a back seat for then. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, put in maybe a little bit of time each week on this to get maybe a bi-weekly episode with the Dead Smithy series. But I'm going to be taking part in Dead Man. We're going to be treating it exactly the same way as a normal progression series, just with a bit of high risk, you know. It's a bit of a high risk hardcore. It's not a hardcore though, but we do have three lives and then we get reset. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Let me know in the comments as well if you're going to be taking part in Dead Man. And if you are, come join the Discord. We're going to be setting up kind of like a bit of a, a squad uh, to go and do a few bits on Dead Man. So if you want to get involved with that, join the Discord. It'd be great to have you over there. Uh, or join the clan chat as well and come say hi. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, let you guys go. Stay safe and I'll see you all very soon. Bye! <laughs>